If you're on QuickBooks and it's starting to feel too small, or you've been told Odoo might be the next step, you're in the right place. We've seen this decision play out hundreds of times. Some teams outgrow QuickBooks and thrive with Odoo, while others spend months and thousands trying to force the wrong fit. So in this video, I'll break down where each one makes sense and the real signs it's time to switch. Before I dive in, the most important question is, were these tools even built for a business like yours? QuickBooks Online fits smaller companies, usually under 10 million in revenue and up to 25 users. It's great for service firms with simpler transactions. Once it starts feeling tight, many upgrade to enterprise. But if you need to connect your accounting with CRM or manufacturing, that's where an ERP like Odoo comes in. Odoo starts small too, but it can scale into hundreds of users. The overlap is that middle zone, 20 to 100 employees, where QuickBooks and Odoo compete head to head. And if you want clarity on what fits your size and workflow, head to softwareconnect.com to get matched with the right system for free. Now I've tested both of these platforms out myself and I wanna show you them in action. First, QuickBooks. The biggest strength here? It's built around double entry bookkeeping from the ground up. Every transaction automatically hits a ledger and your balance sheets and P&Ls come out already formatted for GAP. That's a big reason CPAs and bookkeepers like it. It gives them the numbers exactly as they expect to see them. Another big plus is familiarity. QuickBooks is everywhere. So if you bring in a new hire or work with an outside CPA, chances are they already know this system. And because it's so widely used, there's a huge library of tutorials and certified advisors who can help troubleshoot. On the flip side, Odoo has a lower baseline familiarity. While it's also double entry and gap compliant, there might be a more of an initial learning curve for your people. QuickBooks also has a massive app marketplace, over 800 add-ons for things like Shopify, Gusto, and Stripe. That's great for flexibility until you realize you're juggling a half a dozen separate systems that all need to sync perfectly. And that's where QuickBooks can start to show its limits. For one, that accounting first design works fine until your business needs deeper workflows. That's when QuickBooks starts pushing you towards those extra apps and not all of them talk to each other smoothly. This can create silos between accounting, inventory, and customer data. Inventory management is another pain point. Basic stock tracking is fine, but if you need things like order and warehouse management, you have to step up to QuickBooks Enterprise. There's also cost creep. Plans that begin under $100 a month can quickly double or triple once you add payroll and inventory. And that's not just add-ons. Intuit's steady price hikes and push towards subscription-only models have rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. And if that sounds familiar, outgrowing growing QuickBooks or getting hit with surprise fees, reach out to us at softwareconnect.com. We'll match you with a system that actually scales with your business so you're not stuck patching together add-ons that never quite fit. Now let's take a look at Odoo. The biggest draw here is that everything shares the same database. Not QuickBooks can connect sales and accounting, but Odoo takes it further by tying CRM and inventory natively. For example, when I create a new sales quote in CRM, I can see the customer details and instantly pull pricing and on-hand stock without leaving the screen. And once that quote is confirmed, the same record flows into inventory and accounting automatically. No need for extra connectors or syncing. Odoo is also highly customizable. Your developers can extend it with Python, but most day-to-day -day tweaks don't require coding. With Odoo Studio, the drag and drop customization tool, you can add fields to forms or build simple automations visually. Another strength is scalability. You can start small with just accounting and then expand into HR or manufacturing as your operations grow, all without switching systems. That long-term flexibility is one of the reasons many companies pick Odoo over QuickBooks. But there are trade-offs. First, upgrades can be disruptive. When Odoo releases a new version, you may encounter bugs or compatibility issues with existing customizations. This can create extra testing and rework during upgrades, especially if your setup relies heavily on third-party extensions. Second, some modules feel less than mature than the best-of-breed apps. For example, QuickBooks still wins when it comes to invoice layout customization and AR tools, in my opinion. And in manufacturing, you'll find engineer-to-order workflows smoother in Epicor Kinetic and precision fabrication easier with job loss squared. Last, setup and training can take longer. QuickBooks focuses mainly on accounting, you're connecting bank feeds and importing data. But with Odoo, you're also configuring inventory, manufacturing workflows, CRM pipelines. In other words, there's a broader scope. This means more extensive data migration and more stakeholders needing training. It also typically requires weeks or months of partner-led configuration. Now let's talk real numbers because this is often where the decision gets made. QuickBooks Simple Start now runs $38 a month for one user and the Plus Plan, $115 for five users, adds inventory, purchase orders, and projects. Costs rise once you add payroll or integrations, 
but you can be live in days and spend less upfront than an ERP. Odoo looks cheaper because of its free community plan, but that version lacks any real accounting. No general ledger, budgets, or payroll. And you're on your own for hosting and updates. For full functionality, most companies use Odoo Enterprise at $39 to $58 per user per month, depending on features. Implementation is the real cost factor. Rolling out Odoo can run $20 to $100,000 once you include migration, setup, and training. That's a trade-off for consolidating multiple systems into one ERP despite what the quote 30-day go-live promise suggests. So what's the right call? It depends. If you got a small team and you need reliable bookkeeping and reports, QuickBooks is the safer, faster setup. Once you pass 50 employees or add multiple locations or manufacturing, QuickBooks can start to feel stretched. If you're adding multiple locations or manufacturing support, Odoo's all-in-one design may be worth a higher upfront cost. These aren't the only options. If you're exploring full ERP systems, check out our roundup of mid-market picks like NetSuite and Dynamics 365. If you need strong financials, our accounting roundup covers tools like Sage Intact. And if you're unsure which route makes sense, head over to softwareconnect.com. One quick call with our team will give you a clear answer. Every business is different, so I'd love to hear about yours. Drop a comment with your company size, industry, or what tools you're using today, and I'll let you know whether QuickBooks or Odoo is the better fit. And if you're curious about how Odoo stacks up against other popular options, check out our Odoo versus NetSuite video next. Thanks for watching.